and yet you still have chosen what to some would seem like a lower profile to, to, to share that message. So how do you balance the bigger profile with, with doing what you think you're being led to do? And I wanna say, it's, it's important to say too, that I'm not talking to anyone else that might be in, in entertainment or in music. I'm not, I'm not saying what anyone else should do. This is something that I struggled with internally. Hey, I just wanna say real quick, we got some of our new merch out right now. This is one of my favorite shirts, Read the Bible. If you want to support this channel, you can check out the link below. It says Shop Our Merch. Howdy, y'all. I'm Bri. Wait, this says, this says to chug a Bud Light and then smash the can over my head? First of all, a real cowboy wouldn't be caught dead with a Bud Light. I got some Bud Lights for us. Second of all, I don't even drink. I mean, I'm already gonna get enough flack for adding humor into my videos, much less a joke about beer. This is a Christian channel, okay? Fun, jokes, joy, not here. Now, one unfortunate tragedy that is so prevalent in our society today is seeing Christian musicians or Christian actors, Christian YouTubers completely forsake their faith for fame and glory and money. Especially within the Christian music industry, you know, I've done lots of videos on my channel showing the dark side of the Christian music industry and Christian music artists, but it's almost it feels like a daily occurrence. You see someone within the Christian music industry completely forsake their faith in order to receive fame and riches and glory and honor and to be worshipped by the world. It's so refreshing to read a story like this. Granger Smith surrenders his life of fame to glorify God through ministry work. Now, Granger Smith... If you don't know who that is, he is a major country star. And I'm gonna show you in this video where Granger Smith answers the question, well, what about using your platform, your fame, to be a light in the darkness? Why not stay within the country music industry and be a light in the darkness? He answers that question. And it is a answer that you will not hear from most people. It is very rare that you hear someone admit what he admits. And I'm also gonna show you the video where he announces that he's leaving the country music industry. He's leaving touring, recording, all that. He's leaving it all behind. And you don't wanna miss what he has to say. Now, Granger Smith is a country boy. I mean, check this out. Almost a million subscribers on YouTube. 40,000 likes on this video alone, and this video is called Chevys, Hemis, Yodas, and Fords. I mean, it don't get much more country than this. This man is on top of the world. His most popular video has almost 30 million views. He has an enormous reach, 11 studio albums, and has been nominated and won several awards as well. So for this man to say that he is truly leaving the industry behind, he was a part of the industry. But let's check out some of his announcement video here. Hey guys, I have been so nervous to make this video just because of the implications of what it means for my life and my family. But I'm making this video, I'm making this post to announce that this summer is my last ever tour I have felt a strong desire to pursue ministry and this doesn't mean I'm going to start a church or a crusade or a revival um, this means that me and my family are going to serve our local church we're going to pour into that church as members and have my pastors and elders pour into me and disciple me and teach me as I, as I sit under their wise teaching. It really should be pointed out when you see somebody that is doing the opposite of what the world says we should be doing. You know, a lot of Christians are falling for this mindset of tricking themselves, of being a light in the darkness. I can go be a part of this demonic industry and I'll be the one that does the influencing. 
I'll be the one that changes all their lives. Not that it's impossible. Nothing is impossible with God. But only a fool thinks that they are completely unable to be persuaded by the world, by the flesh. Lord willing, one day they can affirm me into the next steps of what that might look like to glorify God best from my platform. I've also been attending seminary, Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, and that that's just takes a ton of, ton of time to pursue my MA there. That, that may explain to some of you why I've, I've, I've appeared maybe distant, especially to music lately. Um, I'm also, I have a book coming out August the 1st. It's called Like a River. I mean, it shouldn't surprise you what that book is about, but it's about from when I lost my son, Riv, to when we had Mav and everything in between that the Lord did in the radical way of opening my eyes. And that, that, that message is, is so important to tell. It's the most important piece of media that I could ever release, that I ever have released. Now, what he's talking about there with his son, River, I also have a son named River. Granger and his wife lost their son, River, uh, a few years ago. Their three-year-old son at the time, uh, who unfortunately drowned. And what a tragedy, an absolute tragedy. And instead of running away from God, getting angry at God, instead he ran to the arms of Christ to seek shelter in, in God's grace and mercy and peace and comfort. What a life change this is for me and how hard it is. And, and yet so exciting and, and I'm so hopeful about this future and about about what it holds for me and my family. And Amber and I have been totally united on this. She's my best friend and she's my first counsel. We've been praying over this very video right here that I'm making. And I know there's gonna be a lot of questions and I'm gonna try to stay engaged and try to answer questions and I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be here. But I just wanted to get this off my chest out here in the woods to tell you guys that I love you. So praise God that he's able to do this and truly able to step back and pursue ministry above his own worldly desires. Now check out when asked why he didn't stay in the industry so he could be a light in the darkness. I think we could all learn something from this answer. Your current platform gives you, uh, gives you attention and fame and a platform. Uh, to reach lots and lots of people. I'm sure you have already thought about that, and, and yet you still have chosen what to some would seem like a lower profile to, to, to share that message. So how do you balance the bigger profile with, with doing what you think you're being led to do? I have, uh, as you know, debated that in my own head. It's like, what you got the stage, why not just travel the world and sing country music and be a light at a dark place and people come and, and pile in these venues and you could talk about Jesus and you could talk about your faith, you could sing a few hymns. Isn't that the better choice? And, and what I could not reconcile with that is that when Jesus says, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. That self-denial is something I struggle with in country music, where instead every night I'm getting, I'm getting up on the stage and, and seeking glory, seeking applause, seeking people to exalt me. And that's just not what, not what we're called to do as followers. And I, I could not reconcile those two things together. And I want to say, it's, it's important to say, too, that I'm not talking to anyone else that might be in, in entertainment or in music. I'm not, I'm not saying what anyone else should do. This is something that I struggled with internally because I struggled with exalting myself and seeking that praise. And that's something I needed to strip through sanctification away from me. Now, praise God. Because Granger Smith recognizes that he could have stayed to be a light in a dark place. However, he knows that he would have been the one being tempted and persuaded and led by the world as opposed to him being the one that truly was the light in the industry because he struggles with wanting that praise and that glory for himself so he if he stayed a part of the industry where he was getting up in front of people that worshiped him every night he would struggle with that he would struggle with desiring that and allowing that to happen and, and, and wanting it and seeking it. And I also like how he pointed out that he's not talking about anybody else. He's talking about what God is calling him to do and that he knows that for him it would be a struggle to remain. He would struggle with seeking the glory and attention for himself. He's not giving a one-size-fits-all antidote for everybody to follow 
but I think it is wise to heed these words, to recognize and to know that it is so easy to get caught up in the flesh and to be pulled away into seeking glory and fame and riches for yourself and to not think that you're above that, to not think that I'm above that. But hey, let's continue to pray for Granger Smith that God would use him uh, in a mighty way that, and that doesn't always involve being in the limelight. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community, I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And also hit that thumbs up button. You know, when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread this message. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.